I've been using an OLED panel for about six months now, and my biggest concern when getting into OLED was burn-in. Now that I have nearly 2,000 hours on this panel, it's time to do a burn-in check and go over some of the steps that I've been using to try and alleviate the risk. The monitor I've been using is the PG32 UCDP, which is a 32-inch dual-mode 4K 240Hz panel. I absolutely love this thing. Since purchasing the monitor, I have used it not only for gaming, but my day job as a software developer, as well as content creation. The perfect contrast and the super fast response times make for a really special gaming experience. And the 4K resolution and the 32 inch size is awesome for productivity. But OLED technology is not without its drawbacks. And the biggest and most notable one is panel burn-in. The O in OLED stands for organic and this material does break down over time. This is something that all OLED panels suffer from and is an inevitability given enough time. The type of content that you use on an OLED panel though, will play a major role in how quickly you experience burn-in and to what degree it's noticeable. So after an extended six month period, 12 hours a day usage, how has my monitor held up? Well, I've been taking a few precautions to help prevent issues, but I really do work this monitor pretty hard. In Windows, I use a solid black background with no desktop icons. It is often recommended to hide your taskbar on the bottom as well, but I find it really annoying for my workday, so I ended up just leaving this on all the time. The only other thing in Windows that I have done is set up a screensaver that turns on after about three minutes of inactivity. Every OLED panel has some kind of OLED care or or burn-in prevention features. On mine, I utilize the pixel shift feature and the pixel cleaning, and that's about it. There are options for auto logo dimming, as well as a screen saver effect, which dims the screen, but both of these seem to impact the image quality a pretty large amount, so I just leave them off. So let's take a look at the results. Looking at some solid colors displayed on the screen, this is typically where you will see burn-in. And, well, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not sure if it comes through on YouTube properly, but even on a full gray background, which seems to be the one that often shows darker lines or areas of shading, this still looks perfect to me. This was one of my biggest concerns when purchasing an OLED, but having this much use on the monitor, I feel way less concerned going forward, especially considering that there's a three-year warranty. I still wouldn't recommend OLED specifically if all you are doing is productivity work, because for one, there isn't really much benefit to having OLED in that use case, unless it's maybe creative work. And over time, I think IPS panels just have more longevity, so for productivity, that's the way to go. But if you are like me and spend a lot of time gaming while also using the display for work, I think you can rest a little bit easier knowing that these panels appear to be pretty durable overall.